Hey guys, so I don't usually do review videos. Um, if anybody's ever been on this channel before, you've seen that typically uh, we're just posting videos about going boating, jet skiing, things like that. Um, maybe some Bahamas trips thrown in there. But a couple weeks ago, I pulled some old hockey skates out of the garage and started getting back into that a little bit. And the skates themselves were pretty old, had some older tires on them. Decided I was going to go ahead and change out the tires. Figured I might as well go ahead and look into changing out the bearings as well. Um, the bearings themselves are probably about 10 years old. I mean, literally that's how long it had been since I'd used those skates. So went into it online and started looking around to see if I could find some information on which bearings would be the best bearings out there to get and really couldn't find any good information. A lot of the information I found was very skewed towards certain bearings, which led me to believe that it was probably sponsored by those bearings. And even a lot of the videos I see online are very brief and there's not a whole lot of information. So what I wanted to do today is I kind of went through a long process on getting bearings and figured I would go ahead and share with you guys some of the things I found out and learned during that. So hopefully maybe you don't make some of the mistakes that I might have made doing this as well. Um, one of the biggest things that I learned with the bearings is that there's a rating system out there, I guess. There's an ABEC system, which is a number tiered system. Starts at one, goes to nine. The higher the number, the higher the tolerance of the bearing, the better the bearing's supposed to be. There's also a Swiss system out there. It has a very similar kind of rating system. And same deal, you know, the Swiss supposed to have a higher tolerance even than the ABEC system. Um, so it kind of went, you looked at it, the Swiss was supposed to be, once again, a better bearing when I looked at it. So did a bunch of research and really couldn't find anything that I was looking for. So kind of just took that that rating system and said, okay, well, I'll go ahead and base my purchase based on this. So what I'm going to do today is I actually wound up with four sets of bearings in the end. And I'm going to do a little spin test on all four sets of these bearings. Um, I actually wound up, this is the original set that came in my skates. And they are ABEC 5 bearings. Um, I don't know if they're Bauer. They came out of my Bauer Vapor, uh, Vapor 3s. And so... These bearings right here are actually 10 years old right now, so I'm kind of interested to see how they stack up to these other bearings that we've gotten. I actually bought another set of skates as well for a different purpose, and they came with some ABEX 7 bearings, so we're going to go ahead and put those into the mix also. Um, for my first set of replacement bearings to replace my hockey bearings, the uh, ABEX 5s that I had, I actually bought some Swiss, uh, high low Swiss bearings. Um, these were pretty nice. They're mid-tier bearings. They're about $45 for 16 of them, so it's not the cheapest thing out there. Definitely not the most expensive thing out there either when it comes to the bearings. And I actually wound up buying a pretty high-end set of bearings also to kind of try out. Um, these ones are called Cat's Bearings. They're Cat's Leopard Bearings. These ones are a little interesting because they actually don't follow any type of spec. So they're not rated on the ABEX scale. They're not rated on the Swiss scale. So something I'm hoping these kind of show us is whether or not the scale really means anything or not. Um, these ones right here are pretty pricey though. They are about $100 for the set of 16 on the bearings. So it is a little bit up there. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take these bearings. Um, we're gonna just kind of do a quick spin test on all four of them. I'm gonna use the same tire in the same spot on the skate on each one of them. We'll see how long each one rolls and uh, see if we can figure out if the system itself actually meant anything toward the purchase. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and we'll see what we finish up with. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and do the ABEC 5. All right, so we ran that one about 28, 29 seconds. So I've loaded the ABEC 7 in here this time, and honestly, I'm not even going to time it because I've tried a couple times now, and I can't even get my hand from the wheel to the stopwatch before it stops spinning. No kidding. So, but this is the ABEX 7. Uh, at best, a second or two. All the bearings that I'm reviewing, other than the ABEX 5s, which are approximately 10 years old and have a ton of abuse from outside skating and hockey play, are brand new. They all have basically an hour's worth of skating on them just to kind of break them in and that's it. So this one right here is pretty depressing, even though it is rated as an ABEX 7. So um, I'll go ahead and put the next one in. So this one right here is the Cat's Leopard bearing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and spin it. We'll go ahead and start the clock once I get it going. So I got a full stop time on that one of 46 seconds on the Cat's Leopard bearing. All right, so these ones are the Swiss LEs. All 
All right, so I was giving it to the full stop. All right, so what did I pick up from all this when I was doing my bearing shopping? Well, the first thing I kind of learned after doing all these roll tests, obviously, is that the rating system doesn't necessarily mean everything. Obviously, proven by the ABEX 7 that would only roll for about two seconds compared to the rest of the bearings there. Those ABEX 7s came out with a cheap pair of skates, probably a cheap pair of set of bearings as well. Um, obviously, those will probably wind up in the trash, and the other skates that I bought will get one of the other sets of bearings that I have sitting here now. The um, Cats Leopards actually rolled the longest, and they're not rated at all. So they're not on any kind of rating system whatsoever. So once again, I don't know if the rating system has as much to do with it as you might think, as much as probably buying a nicer quality bearing. So the Leopards were the most expensive, so obviously I would expect them to roll the longest. The um, high-low Swiss bearings were probably the second most expensive, and obviously they rolled the second longest. But something that I did learn that kind of surprised me is if you're kind of happy with the bearings you've got right now and you just think you've lost a little bit of performance, if it's a serviceable bearing, I would probably try cleaning them first and see if that didn't bring them back to life and relubing them as you're doing that. Because even though there's a small differential between the ABEC 5s that I had that are 10 years old in the Swiss, I bet if I cleaned those ABEC 5s, which haven't been cleaned in 10 years, and relubed them, they would probably be just as comparable as those Swiss bearings and possibly even faster, even though they're only an ABEC 5 rated bearing. So what were the final results? Well, the final results was the longest lasting one we have is the Cat's Leopard bearing. The Cat's Leopard lasted, uh, I did two pulls on each of these. Um, I only recorded one pull, but the first pull was 46 and a half seconds with the Cat Leopards. And the second pull was actually 51 seconds with the Cat Leopards. This was the only one that actually had a real difference in the two pulls. In other words, that four or five second difference there was actually pretty big on the scale compared to the rest of the bearings that we used. The ABEC 5s that I had, these were the 10 year old ones that were originally pulled out of the skates. Um, the first pull went 29.9 seconds and the second pull actually went 29.9 seconds as well. So they really were almost identical on the pull on this. The um, Swiss LE bearings that we did have, the Swiss LEs, the first, the, the second pull was 32.63. So three seconds faster than, lasted three seconds longer than the ABEC, but I still really believe if I put both of those in a wheel on a true skate application, you probably wouldn't tell much of the difference between the two because it was just such a small difference that three seconds at the slow roll speed we were doing at the end, it really wouldn't matter. The other thing I can tell you is I've skated three of these bearings. I have personally not skated that ABEC 7 bearing that was here that was skated by somebody else. The top speed differential is probably non-noticeable either on any of them. So really the advantage to having a longer roller bearing is the fact that you'll be able to roll longer without as much effort on your end. But the actual physical top speed, because they're all rated well beyond the RPMs that we're ever going to generate in any kind of real skate application, are probably the same. But the longer rolling bearing may hold the top speed a little longer once you stop compared to the other two that kind of stopped a little bit sooner. So you may start feeling resistance on those ones just a little bit faster. But overall, the, the opinion I really came to on this is if you like the bearings that you've got now, before I would go spend money buying new bearings, I would really probably just go out and try cleaning mine first and see if it actually resolved my issue. If not, then I would decide whether I really wanted a faster bearing or if I just wanted a comparable bearing. I still think in that $20 to $40 range, you can find some very comparable bearings. If you're really looking for something you think is just going to add a little bit more roll, um, you're probably going to want to go ahead and spend the money. And, you know, if many of you have looked probably already. It's not hard to get into $100, $100, $150 bearings. I mean, heck, the Cats ones, uh, they actually have a $750 set of bearings on their uh, website listed. Obviously, I think something like that would be complete overkill, and I don't really believe it would get... You definitely wouldn't get your money's worth, I don't think, out of that. But anyway, um, love to hear any comments you guys have. Thanks for watching.